Svetlana shows us where she and her family used to live. We were in the cellar for most of 2014, then three shells landed around the house, she says. That was when the bombing started to get really bad. Svetlana and her 15-year-old daughter, Marina, are among around 75 people who still live in Spartak, on the outskirts of Donetsk. But as is the case across the front line in Ukrainian military-controlled areas, shells have been landing in civilian areas here, too. Svetlana and Marina take us to the basement of a deserted neighbor's home. This is where they live now, along with the father of the family, Vladimir. She says her daughter is struggling to cope. When the shelling started three years ago, she says, Marina was terrified by the explosions. She was hysterical. I tried to calm her down with medicine, but now she seems sometimes indifferent and sometimes very afraid. Doctors come twice a month. A psychiatrist told me she needs time. In a nearby street, we find Sveta. She has family living across the front line. In recent days, the shells were landing closer and closer again, she says. The Organization for Security and Economic Cooperation in Europe has been trying to monitor repeated ceasefire attempts. It says both sides are using heavy caliber weapons in violation of a 2015 ceasefire agreement that was supposed to initiate a political settlement. At another home, this woman says what seems to be a type of anti-tank shell hit her home and luckily failed to explode. There was no warning. Before, we could often identify the bombs because of the whistling sound. You can hear the mortars, but these weapons, no. The sound of shelling and heavy machine gun fire can be heard in the distance. The fighting intensifies later in the day. More than two years after an internationally brokered ceasefire was signed in a bid to try and start some sort of peace process, some sort of political settlement, the violence in this area continues. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Spartak, in the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic.